My brothers and sisters in Christ, today's readings offer us a fascinating glimpse at the law of the Lord and its fulfillment in the gospel. We hear one form, the form in Leviticus of the Ten Commandments, this form of the law of these precepts that we are to follow, and most of them involve sinful behaviors to avoid, the, as we always call them, thou shalt not such and such, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, these sins that we are to avoid. And often in the spiritual life, we can set the bar too low for ourselves for holy living by just saying, if I'm avoiding evil, then I'm good. If I avoid breaking the commandments, then I must be in great shape. But in fact, the avoiding of, the avoiding of evil is only half the equation we also have to do the good. And that is what the gospel and its fulfillment calls us to, isn't just to avoid the obvious big pitfalls, but that we should be freed. And that is what our grace of baptism does. It frees us up, not for ourselves, to do whatever we want. Freedom is being free to do the good, to do what we ought to do. And so this is what the last judgment in Matthew 25 in today's gospel is challenging us. Notice Jesus' judgment as he separates the, the sheep from the goats isn't based on whether you committed adultery or not. This is presumed. The, these are talking about sins, but he says, what you did for me or did not do for me. He's talking about the good. So, blessed are you, blessed are you who gave me food when I was hungry, clothed me when I was naked, visited me when I was in prison, and be cast away from me, the one who failed to do this good. Well, Lord, when did we see you? Whatever you did not do for one of the least of these, you did not do for me. And so, it's a great raising up of the demands on Christian living. Yes, we're called to avoid sin. And this can be an important way of measuring when we do an examination of conscience. But we also need to be constantly mindful of what we fail to do. That's why in the Confidio, or at the beginning of every Mass, we pray, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, and what I have done, and what I have failed to do. And so... Again, going back to my last two reflections, Friday and Saturday, we need to spend this time doing penance to open up more room for God, but we need to make sure we're filling that opened up space with the right things, that we're finding more time for prayer and more time for charity. May God bless you all.